Hi, I'm Wendy Wilson, a Sacramento County Master Gardener. Today I'm going to be showing you how to net a fruit tree so that you can protect your crop from birds and squirrels. I developed this method to be relatively easy and inexpensive and something that you can do without assistance. This is best done on a tree that's kept relatively short, no more than about six or seven feet, which is what we recommend anyway for ease of maintenance. I'm going to be demonstrating today on this seven foot cherry tree. You're going to need some supplies for this project. You'll need a dozen eight foot bamboo poles, five three foot metal stakes, a mallet, zip ties, stretchable pole connectors, six inch garden staples, bird netting, some large clips, bypass loppers, and a safe orchard ladder. Begin by placing four bamboo poles around the tree slightly overlapping. This will mark the perimeter of the cage. Make sure to use poles long enough to allow room for you to move around the tree while inside the cage and a little taller than the tree itself. Next, pound in a metal stake about seven inches deep at each corner of the frame. Make sure you're not inserting the stake where there's anything in the ground that could be damaged, such as a buried drip line. Next, attach a vertical bamboo pole to each stake using two zip ties. Attach the top level of bamboo poles to the side poles using the stretchable connectors. Adjust the top row to provide about six inches clearance above the tree, and if necessary, trim off excess bamboo with the loppers. The next step is to cover the frame with netting. Place your first piece of netting at the base of one side. Lift it up to the top, leaving a little excess at the base. Loop the netting over the corner bamboo pieces to hold the netting in place. Do this to both sides. Then toss the remaining netting over the top of the tree. To finish the top, grab a corner of the netting and lift it off the tree. Pull it taut across the top of the cage and loop it around the bamboo corners. Next, attach netting to the remaining sides. Leave a little extra netting at the top and the sides and loop the top corners over the bamboo ends, pulling the netting taut as you go. Now that all the netting is in place, clip the top pieces together so there won't be any gaps. Clip any loose side pieces together as well except for one corner which you will leave open for an entryway into the cage. Next you need to anchor the netting to the ground to prevent animals from getting under it. Lay a bamboo pole around each side and pull the netting under it and bunch it up to keep it together. Use your garden staples to anchor the pole to the ground using at least two staples per side. When you get to the side where you have your entry flap, cut the bamboo pole short and anchor it. It's easy to get in and out of the cage with the entry flap clipped open. When you're done, you can secure the entry flap to the pole and lay a steel stake over the bottom netting to keep it secure. That's it, your cage is now complete and it can stay up until your fruit is all ripened and picked. I hope you find this method useful in keeping the critters out of your trees and that you have a bountiful harvest.
Thanks for joining us, Sacramento County Master Gardeners YouTube channel.